The Calypso was invented by German showman Bosch and Distel in 1958. The ride was thought up after the showman had visited the US and seen the successes of the new ride at the time, the Scrambler. The showman believed that a ride that was more refined could do well on the re-emerging German fairground scene. They secured the name Calypso and set out to make a refined Scrambler, with a more appealing look and more movements. The ride they would end up introducing featured a similar mechanical design to a Scrambler, with a center rotating platform featuring four independently rotating arms, each featuring four rider vehicles situated on the end of the arms. Most early versions of the ride also featured roofs over the rider vehicles. Unlike the Scrambler, there's no support structure located above the riders. Most of the ride's mechanism is completely hidden under the floor. Many Calypsos still feature some kind of center decorative structure, much like the Scramblers they were inspired by. The most significant ride experience change from the Scrambler, though, was the addition of a tilt for the entire ride structure, meaning the ride's platform sits at around 15 to 20 degrees at all times. The ride also featured much more decoration than the American Scrambler that inspired it. The ride's construction is somewhat like a carousel, in that it's based on a large rotating disc that floats above the base of the ride, using a center pole. Outwards from this sits the hubs for the rider vehicles. These spin independently from the main rider disc. The thrilling ride experience combined with the ride's impressive appearance and portability meant it was an immediate success, and the ride would go on to catapult the restart of the German fairground scene. Bosch and Distel would go on to produce three more Calypsos in the late 1950s. In 1960, Mach took over production of the Calypso, paying commission to Bosch and Distel for each model sold, and working with several other small manufacturers to produce various parts of the ride. The increase in production capacity meant an explosion in the number of Calypsos. The 1960s would also see the first Calypsos exported to the US. The first would go to American showman Royal American Shows in 1962. The ride would premiere at the Florida State Fair in 1963 and would be a huge hit. That same year saw the first park version of the Calypso, with this ride being produced by Mach and opening at Kennywood. The ride would retain its popularity through the 60s and 70s, with large parks like Cedar Point buying two Calypsos in 1970, one with a standard theme named Calypso, and one with a tropical Polynesian theme named Tiki Twirl. Tiki Twirl would be removed and scrapped in the 1980s, but Calypso would live on, being relocated several times throughout the park. At one point, the ride was even re-themed to Tiki Twirl to commemorate its lost twin at the park. Over time, it would slowly lose theming, including its centerpiece. In 2023, the ride was re-themed back to Calypso, with it regaining some of its old theming elements. The ride, like many US Calypsos, features rider vehicles made by the small German company Bruchal. Bruchal Calypso cars are known for being lower profile than their Mach or Bosch and Distel counterparts. The cars were all originally sold with roofs over the riders, but on Cedar Point's version, these have been removed. There have been several different Calypso car themes offered over the years. Additionally, Calypsos have always been known for being some of the most beautiful rides due to their expansive backdrops that allow for lots of lights and art. Several notable Calypsos still exist, such as the previously mentioned Calypso at Cedar Point, as well as Spinnovator at Canada's Wonderland. This ride features no backdrop and has unique barrel-themed rider vehicles from Mach Rides. In Europe, no permanent Calypsos are known to still be operating. However, a handful of traveling models are known to still operate. The oldest of these was built in 1962 and currently travels with German showman Winheim. The ride is still in great condition and is truly a landmark on the fairground, considering its age and significance to the industry. Today, the ride can be found looking nearly identical to how it did when it opened over half a century ago. Another Calypso, which originally opened in 1963 in Germany, is now owned by Swiss showman Steiner, and can still be seen traveling today. The ride is also in fantastic shape, though this one has been modernized slightly from its original design. A ride as popular as the Calypso was sure to attract those wanting to duplicate its success. UK manufacturer Lang Wheels made a near-exact clone of the Calypso. They were known to produce at least two such rides, 
with one going to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and closing in the mid-1980s. German manufacturer Klaus, in collaboration with Schwarzkopf, created a version of the Calypso called the Hula Hoop. The ride was designed to specifically not infringe on the design of the Calypso. Only one would be built and it was introduced in 1959. The Calypso is one of the most recognizable rides of all time. The ride played a large role in growing the European ride industry into the monster it became in the 1980s and 90s. The ride still serves as an enjoyable classic family ride at many of its remaining installations. Thanks for watching this episode of Flat Ride Friday. This has been the final episode for Season 1. Regular channel uploads will resume shortly. Be sure to stay tuned for future updates on Flat Ride Friday. I hope you enjoyed this series, and see you next time.